So I'd like to just take a minute to respond to Jason's video on the family. And surprisingly, most people will find that I am actually in agreement with him on a lot of things, um, particularly on his statements that he made about, um, about polyamory. Basically, what it boils down to, and if you actually go back and actually rewatch the video, um, he's not making a dig at polyamory. We, we are just saying that it's something that we do not understand and that we personally would not choose for ourselves. But hey, if you are into that sort of thing, you know, that then that's your thing. I also do would say that it, in uh, the one thing I will kind of uh, differ with him on, on is the fact that I think it does take sometimes two, more than two people uh, in order to bring up a child. Um, that's why sometimes I think some poly families could actually work. Um, God knows the amount, uh, the people that I uh, know, especially here in Portland, uh, who, who um, are poly and have kids, um, sometimes having multiple people who d to take on the role of a parent, you know, sometimes is even better than that of a single parent or two parents. Sometimes a multi-parent solution is what's best for a child. Um, kind of that age-old adage of it takes a village, um, sometimes that comes into play, and that is also, and, and I also kind of go by the whole idea of the more, you know, the more the better, the more the merrier. Um, personally, um, I have a, a almost 10-year-old sister. I don't really talk much about my personal life and my, my family. It's not that I'm not close to them, it's just I don't bring them up, I don't really see a need to, and out of their own privacy and, you know, everything else, I just choose not to talk about them. But I have a nearly 10-year-old sister. She is 22 years younger than me. I know, Mom really spaced those out. But, I love my sister. But, <laughs> she is a rambunctious little rugrat, typical of most 10 year olds. And she has horrible ADHD and autism, and you know, sometimes it does. And I helped raise her for the first five years of her life. And from my experience with her, it does kind of take a village to raise that kid. It, it's taken, at this point, my mom, me, my grandmother, my ex-wife, now my current partner, um, um, and uh, my great-grandmother. And then even with that, it still takes friends and family that get brought over there. Uh, they end up becoming kind of part of that uh, parental aspect because then they're kind of also helping to watch her because she is just, you know, she, I'm not saying that she's not intelligent. I'm just saying that this is the type of kid that, you know, if, you know, she's not watching where she's going because of her attention problem, she would literally walk off a three floor balcony and pay no mind to her surroundings. No self-awareness with this kid. Uh, she is, she is it's honestly honestly surprising she hasn't broken a bone or anything like that so um god she really is my sister isn't she um so that's the only thing i would disagree with him on is the whole issue of on that sort of family i believe even in today's dynamic especially with kids uh these days and their attention problems and their learning disabilities and um they're just hyperactivity and everything else. Um, I think sometimes it, it pays to sometimes have more 
uh, more family uh, parental units. Um, and I think that polyamory is just a part of a of that modern thing. But like I said, it's not for everybody, and that's fine too. I'm not saying that anybody has to be, you know, monogamous. I'm not saying you have to be poly um, uh, polyamorous. Um, and that's basically what Jason was saying too. He wasn't saying that you had to be one or the other. He was just saying if it's you know, your preference, it's your choice, you should be able to do it. And that's what it comes down to, is freedom of choice. And I know that comes off a little bit surprising to people coming for, out of the mouths of communists, but we actually do believe in freedom of choice. That's kind of what the whole idea of liberation is kind of about. So... I just wanted to kind of come on here and kind of emphasize, just kind of try to emphasize those little key pieces there. Um, just try to clarify some things. Um, and yeah, I I just do believe that, you know, personally it's not, like I said, there's certain things that aren't what we personally would choose for ourselves, but if others choose to be in it, that's their thing. You also don't have to be, like, the same nuclear family unit that we're talking about from, like, the 1950s and Fallout. Uh, you know, we're not talking about the mom, the dad, the white picket fence, the white America. You know, oh, God, that's going to go down the route, isn't it? Um, no, we're talking about, you know, you can be multi-ethnic, multi-racial, multinational. You could be, um, you know, gay, straight. You could be... a trans couple like me and my partner are um and that's fine um nothing saying that you can't do that and that is what and that's again part of the whole aspect of, li of liberation especially in this case gay or trans liberation if you want to basically if you're gay or trans and you want to raise a child you should have that opportunity um the other aspect is that I would also like to emphasize, too, that came out of that video, is that it's okay, though, too, if you don't want to have kids. And this is in a little stark contrast, but not really from where Jason was going. Because, again, playing into that whole thing about not wanting kids, not wanting to get married, blah, blah, blah... Um, it, we're also not saying that you can, that you can or can't get married. That's another thing I'd like to emphasize. Jason isn't st saying, well, go out and get married and go procreate. Like, no, that, that would be going down the whole Christian fundamentalist route, wouldn't it? That's not what Jason is saying. That's not what I'm saying. What we're saying is, in this situation, a it's one of those things where if you want... It, it, it's about coupling. It's about finding love. It's about finding relationships. And we're not saying those relationships, you need to go out and have children or go out and even adopt children. It would be nice if some people did, but we also understand that's just not in the means of everybody to do so. And some people would just be shitty parents. I myself know that I would be a shitty parent. Um, and some people, it's just not for everybody. And that's fine. That's your choice. That's your liberation to do so um, and for some people that's just how it is they just are not you know they are not creatures meant to be parents um, for some people they're not creatures to be parents or monogamous some of them are not uh, made to be parents or to be poly uh, polyamorous and that's okay what it comes down to is we are just worried about the trajectory that a lot of these a lot of the, the trajectory that the world is heading down because of the relationships between men and women and just in just between us fellow human beings it's a really scary path that can and will lead to our destruction 
probably in a worse case than even nuclear war. And that's the main focus of that video. Those are the points that Jason and I are trying to get across. So, please do not misconstrue this, though I can already assume there will be people that will misconstrue both of our intentions in that video. But what we're just saying is that, you know, go out, you know, do what you want, love who you want, you know, procreate or not procreate, it is your choice, it is your liberation. But at the same time, it's, it's like recognize that there is currently a problem and that a problem that really needs to be addressed. So, yeah. Um, so, with that said, I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time.